in the 70s and 80s when you had a lot of endemic goiter, they looked and found out why do these people in these mountainous regions have so many so much goiter. And they found out because of the high elevation, it means they were relatively further away from the sea. Oh. Because a lot of seafood, so yes, so, salt, yes water. salt water. So a lot of those people had inadequate um, iodine in their food, in their mm -hmm. soil, in their plants, and a lot of them had goiter. So the WHO and other bodies looked at, said, what can we do to make sure that everybody, irrespective of where you live, have enough iodine in your food? And they came up with the fact that, well, almost everybody takes salt. So why don't we just legislate that everybody who is selling salt adds a little bit of iodine? So that's where it gets to every community. And that's how they came about the issue of iodizing salt. salt. So iodized salt is not just a marketing scheme. Apparently, 